So that um, painting you saw is for a Twitch creator who watches my videos. I am truly honored that she has reached out to me and asked me to paint her logo for um, the logo she has on Twitch so she can hang it on the wall. So got that all done. Now I'm in this kitchen. It's just a little bit of mess because I haven't cleaned it. But as you've seen everyone doing the instant coffee, I've already done it. But I was thinking what happened if I switched the white cane sugar for maybe like brown sugar or powdered sugar. And that's what I'm going to do today. Why? Because that's what I've been thinking about literally this week other than the commission pieces I need to work on. So I'm going to do this. Let's see what happens. You're right, you're right. As we all know, it's two tablespoons of instant coffee. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like coffee. Love it. And instead of white cane sugar, we're going with powdered sugar. And with powdered sugar, you usually need more of it than regular sugar. So we're going to do four tablespoons and see what happens. Okay, one, two. That's a big three. So I'll do a little four. Let's see, you know. Right, now we need two tablespoons of hot water. And see what this scientist has created. One. Two. Amazing. like so far it's very liquidy I'm gonna add more powder sugar and see what happens it's certainly lighter I don't know what it tastes like oh that is way sweeter than original right do you want this yeah here Can I guess? I'll give you a spoon and everything there you go okay now I need to clean this so I can do brown sugar Right, brown sugar coffee's in there. There's the brown sugar I used. Let's see what happens when I put the water in and mix it. Right, it looks the same, but brown sugar um, is very bitter. We like powdered sugar the best.